Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video we looked at how to work out the electron configuration of ions. We remember that an ion forms when a neutral atom loses or gains electrons. For example, if an atom loses electrons, then it will form a positive ion, and the electrons are always lost from the highest energy subshell. I'm showing you that here with aluminium. Aluminium atoms lose three electrons to form the aluminium ion, and the aluminium ion has a charge of three positive. Looking at the electron configuration, we can see that the three electrons were lost from the third electron shell, and the electron configuration of the aluminium ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Now in this video we're looking at the electron configuration of the ions formed by elements in the D block. We looked at the D block elements in a previous video. Remember that in the D block elements the 4s subshell fills before the 3d subshell, and that's because the energy of the 4s subshell is less than the energy of the 3d subshell. Now there is one fact that you need to learn. Once the 4s subshell contains electrons, it now has a higher energy than the 3d subshell. What this means is that when d block elements lose electrons, the electrons are always lost from the 4s subshell before the 3d subshell, and there are no exceptions to this rule. I'm showing you here the electron configuration of the d block element manganese. Manganese atoms can lose 3 electrons to form the ion Mn3+. As we said, electrons are always lost from the 4s subshell before the 3d subshell. So when a manganese atom loses 3 electrons, the first two electrons are lost from the 4s subshell, and then one electron's lost from the 3d subshell. This means that the electron configuration of the Mn3 plus ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d4. Okay, here's an example for you to try. I'm showing you the electron configuration of the element iron. Iron atoms can form the ion Fe2 plus. I'd like you to work out the electron configuration of the Fe2 plus ion. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, from the two positive charge, we can see that the iron atom lost two electrons to form the ion. As we said, when d block elements lose electrons, the electrons are lost from the 4s subshell before the 3d subshell. So the electron configuration of the Fe2 plus ion will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d6. Here's another example for you. I'm showing you the electron configuration of the element chromium. We've already seen that chromium has an unusual electron configuration. By only having one electron in its 4s subshell, chromium atoms have a half full 3d subshell. And as we saw, the 3d subshell is more stable when it's either half full or completely full. Chromium atoms can form the ion Cr3+. I'd like you to work out the electron configuration of the Cr3 plus ion. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, from the 3 plus charge, we can see that the chromium atom lost three electrons to form the ion. This means that the electron configuration of the Cr3 plus ion will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d3. Okay, so hopefully now you're happy working out the electron configuration of d-block ions. 